Step 12. Having had a spiritual awakening as the result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to alcoholics and practice these principles in all our affairs. Now that we've made conscious contact with the God of our understanding, we have received the greatest gift of this program, a spiritual awakening or a spiritual experience. God is now guiding us in a way which is indeed miraculous. Burn the idea into the consciousness of every man that he can get well regardless of anyone. The only condition is that he trusts in God and clean house. How much simpler can it get? Trust in God, clean house, and help others. In the first paragraph on page 100, we are informed that we grow spiritually when we share our new way of living with others. It reads, Both you and the new man must walk day by day in the path of spiritual progress. If you persist, remarkable things will happen. When we look back, we realize that the things which came to us when we put ourselves in God's hands were better than anything we could have planned. Follow the dictates of a higher power, and you will presently live in a new and wonderful world, no matter what your present circumstances. Now, how do we grow spiritually daily? We practice two-way prayer and share our guidance with each other. This keeps us spiritually connected to each other. We grow together spiritually in understanding and effectiveness. Back in in step three, it was read that God is our new employer. In the second paragraph on page 102, we have a new job description. It says, your job is now be of a place where you may be of maximum helpfulness to others. So never hesitate to go anywhere if you can be helpful. You should not hesitate to visit the most sordid spot on earth on such an errand. Keep on the firing line of life in these motives, with these motives and God will keep you unharmed. This concludes our presentation of Step 12 as found in our big book. Now let God guide you when you make your 12-step calls. And the spirit of the universe will keep you safe and protected. In addition, by relying upon guidance, you will be of maximum service to God and the people about you. Being of service to others is critical to our continued growth and the maintenance of our sobriety. Now keep in mind that one of the primary services we can perform is to take prospective members through the 12 steps in these step working meetings. Each time we do this, we learn more about our life-saving program and gain additional insight into the all-powerful creator, who is at the heart of our new way of living. Now all that's left is to practice these principles in all our affairs. The 12 step suggestion is on page 89. Go to the fourth line in the first paragraph, the fourth line in the first paragraph, page 89. Fourth line in the first paragraph? Is it? Fourth line in the first paragraph. Yeah, fourth line in the first, fourth par- no, first paragraph. It says, carry this message to other alcoholics, exclamation point. Well, those who are ready to take the 12th step, please stand. Here's our 12th step question. Will you carry this message to other alcoholics? Absolutely. You betcha. I will. I'll try. All right. Okay. Yes, I will. Thank you. Congratulations to you all. We're going to close this session um, by reading uh, the first and second paragraph on page 132. Okay, it's the first and second paragraph on page 132. 
It's the family afterward. It says, We have been speaking to you of serious, sometimes tragic things. We have been dealing with alcohol in its worst aspect, but we aren't a glum lot. If newcomers can see no joy or fun in our existence, they wouldn't want it. We absolutely insist on enjoying life. We try not to indulge in cynicism over the state of the nations, nor do we carry the world's troubles on our shoulders. When we see a man sinking into the mire that is alcoholism, we give him first aid and place what we have at his disposal. For his sake, we do recount and almost relive the horrors of our past. But those of us who have tried to shoulder the entire burden and trouble of others find we are soon overcome by them. Overcome by them. So we think cheerfulness and laughter make for usefulness. Outsiders are sometimes shocked when we burst into a merriment over a seemingly tragic experience out of the past. But why shouldn't we laugh? We have recovered and been given the power to help others. Yes. We like to welcome those who have taken all 12 steps with us to the fourth dimension of existence. We thank you for the opportunity to be your guide for this miraculous spiritual journey. We wish you the very best as you make your amends and establish a conscious contact with the one who has all power. You will convert the barriers which have separated you from others to the bridges of open and honest reconciliation. In addition, by listening to God, you will be given the strength, inspiration, and direction to change lives, starting with your own. Miracles are about to occur. 